to prayers. Stay with me, Lord. The Prayer After Holy Communion by St. Pio of Pietrelcina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without meaning and hope. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I can hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you evermore and to be in your company always. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be always faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I wish it to be a place of consolation for you, a dwelling of your love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late. The days are coming to a close and life is passing. Death, judgment, and eternity are drawing near. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus in this night of exile. Stay with me, Jesus, because in the darkness of this life, with all its dangers, I need you. Help me to recognize as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the power which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death I want to be one with you and if not by communion, at least by your grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolations because I do not deserve them, but I only ask for the gift of your presence. Oh, yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for I seek you alone, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you, and I ask for no other reward but to love you more and more with a strong and active love. Grant that I may love you with all my heart while on earth, so that I can continue to love you perfectly throughout all eternity, dear Jesus. Amen. A humble confession displeases Satan, and if he could, he would make you omit Holy Communion. Thomas A. Kempis, The Imitation of Christ. A Reconciliation Prayer, copyright Joseph Carl Publishing. O sweet author of life, your pardon I seek as I kneel before your cross. Lord, forgive me. Immerse me in your compassion, for I have so little to offer you. Even my petition for forgiveness comes from you. You long for my approach, though wounded, so generously willing to exchange human iniquity with divine love that annihilates and saves when the soul but accepts your invitation. I give my nothingness entirely to you. Divine justice have mercy on me, and may all my brothers and sisters benefit also especially those most in need of your saving grace. Divine blood of Christ, wash over me and transform myself into you. Make of me the mirror that reflects your love to your beloved. I thank you for your sacrifice and for your invitation, for your patience while awaiting my response, as I seek your will while you encourage me to make my own choices. I thank you for lovingly creating guiding and consoling me, 
and for all you have generously given me, including the grace to recognize that which on my own I cannot see. I thank you for allowing me to lose that I may ultimately win, and for giving me the opportunity to journey with you along your way of the cross. I accept your love and return to you my heart united with yours, along with my obedience. I thank you for everything. Thy will be done. Please accept my petition to fill this dry well with your divine presence. Amen. No prayer is ever lost. St. John Vianney To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercy's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus and your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, visit www.theworkofreparationtotheholyfaceofjesus.com Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners. And he still means it.